Hey everyone, before I get started, I just want to remind you that if you like my content, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and then join the Militiaman and Crew Patreon community by clicking the link in the caption. Hey, good afternoon everybody, it's Tuesday. I just wanted to get a quick update because we got some powerful stuff that we're gonna go over today. Uh, first thing I wanna do is before I uh, tell you what the whole game plan is, uh, I'd like to say though that um, Al Alok, the CBI Central Bank Governor, uh, he's been posting some things on the CBI website that's pretty powerful. There's uh, documents based on, I think there's 20 to 24 pages of instructions that he's talking about international banking, uh, regard to sanctions, all kinds of different things. It was a big piece he did, but he also put out a, uh, a, a piece that's specifically talking about uh, a new system of external transfers. So uh, if you guys go to the CBI website, uh, this particular piece is, is phenomenal because he's working with the Central Bank of Iraq and the United States Federal Bank. So that's uh, U.S. Treasury, I believe they could be talking about. Um, they're talking about currencies. They're talking about different currencies like uh, the uh, that include like the UAE, Durham, the Turkish Lira, European uh, Euro, I'm sorry, Indian Rupee, things of that nature. So basically those are uh, competitive uh, global currencies that are uh, working. Uh, they're going to be competitive in the marketplace. It's pretty cool. So we, they talk about that. Uh, I really do like the new system, external transfers, and uh, he's been knocking it out of the park. The central bank governor has uh, the, the, this 24-page document you uh, have here in my hands. Uh, it is something, that, something to read. Uh, it talks about contracts a little bit. It talks about many things, uh, UN sanctions. It talks about the UN Security Council, um, everything that you need to know, because basically what they're talking about is uh, creating an environment that Iraq has instructions to do international banking. So that's a powerful, powerful situation there. Um, on Sunday, it looks like uh, the Prime Minister has uh, in a special meeting uh, to the follow-up, uh, he basically is talking about the unified treasury account. It's the country's bank account. Uh, it's basically where the citizens are going to get paid through, okay? They're going to get their uh, monies from, I believe, the hydrocarbon law, the oil and gas. That stuff is being talked about. They're talking about the steps for uh, implementing this treasury account and completing uh, the application of payment points of electronic cards, the point of sale. So everybody's probably going to have to have a card to be able to get their income from this. And he's openly talking about that. And that was the Sunday. So obviously, like I said, you have the central bank talking, you have um, Al Sudani talking. And interestingly enough, um, coming back from the UN, uh, Shia al Sudani got with the coordination framework, which he's a member of. He's basically had been talking about what they did uh, and what the commitments they have to all international under understandings and decisions which regulate the relationships with the countries of the world and the region at various levels. Just that statement alone is, is powerful because what are they talking about? International understandings and decisions that they made while they were at the UN. It, it's phenomenal. It says Iraq's commitment to all international understandings and decisions that regulate the relationship of the countries of the world and the region are at various levels. And so here again, they, they're they letting you know that they've uh, got commitments, they've got understandings, they've made decisions. And this one here by the Prime Minister, he chaired a Council of the Ministers meeting today. Uh, basically, in this particular situation, he's talking about uh, there, uh, he directed all ministries to follow up on what was reached in this visit and to activate bilateral agreements and joint understandings. So again, he's talking about the regions, he's talking about the world. He wants to remind everybody before he gets to the meat and potatoes that uh, October 3rd is a national day of the Republic of Iraq. It's like the first one of its kind. It sounds like from what, I, what you'll hear from Angel One uh, in, in our video that we're going to be presenting uh, is uh, very exciting for the, for the country. People are basically uh, like excited and blown away. So that's a big thing. Uh, just like on our Independence Day, if you've seen the sky light up with all the fireworks, uh, we still celebrate it hundreds of years later. So it's a big deal. So it's a good thing, really a good thing. Uh, so ultimately what it says here with regard to the continuation of the steps of financial and administra administrative reform, the Council of Ministers decided the following. Number one, 
commitment that all state contracts executed inside Iraq shall be in Iraq dinars. There you go. That is the main nutshell that I wanted to share with you on this. We'll let, we'll let the audio that we're going to play for you uh, follow up on the rest of that. But keep in mind uh, that the Council of Ministers have in their own instructions and they're telling you what they're going to be doing. But uh, remember that the active bilateral agreements and joint understandings, uh, a commitment that all state contracts executed inside Iraq shall be in Iraq dinars. I don't know what else to say, you guys, but please, thank you for being here with me. I, I want you to enjoy what we have to offer. It was really nice that uh, Angel One was uh, inside his busy schedule, was able to show up on a Tuesday and get some information. We could get our schedules together, get, get a little uh, audio out for everybody and let everybody know where we are, where we stand, and it's a, it's a bright future. So uh, again, before you guys leave, uh, check it out. And um, if you like to subscribe to our channel, please do hit that like button. And uh, for all that work and effort and time that we put into these things, all those donations totally keep this place happening. We appreciate them so very much. So thank you. Have a great day. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Militia Man here um, with the guest, Angel One. Uh, he is a uh, phenomenal a uh, friend of mine that is out in the in the world of finance and banking and all kinds of different things in his background. Uh, he's a Bruin fan, uh, from what I understand. So, so, <laughs> so, so that's a really a good thing. Hey, uh, listen, one of the things I wanted to touch base on is that um, Angel One has an expertise in finding things and getting data uh, in in um, the country of Iraq, uh, in the banking industry around the world. And he gets that stuff because he has contacts. Um, those contacts will be remain nameless, of course, and, and their positions. But he's able to get that information sometimes because um, he knows what to look for. And so by knowing what to look for, and if he sees it in the banking industry with, with the central banks and that maybe even the Bank of International Settlements and things like that, um, he'll see things happening and he'll know what to expect in the future. And sometimes he's able to tell us a little bit about that and what to watch for. And today was a key example that uh, he had notified me yesterday that there was some things happening, that he was busy, was working like a kind of like a fiend. I think he worked three or four hours and he finally got the information that he needed. Uh, and I, ble I believe that comes from the Central Bank of Iraq. But he ties it in and gave it to us and said what to look for. And so the Council of Ministers had some meetings, uh, our A meeting today and some of their uh, minutes are out this afternoon and we can go over that but in the meantime just pay, uh, pay attention and we'll we'll give you guys a, an awesome update today because it's pretty exciting and I want to welcome Angel One to Militia Man and Crew and uh, say hello. Thank you my friend and usual, as, as usual hello to the family. Um, I always uh, appreciate our time together as you know uh, I don't shoot from the hip I don't speak off the cuff um, these calls on both of our ends take hours and hours and hours of phone calls and preparation. And so it may seem like we're a little bit late, but uh, we have been waiting for more evidence to be able to bring to you guys, the people. Okay, let's get to it. Today I'll be speaking uh, directly from the CBI, literally from the CBI. I get uh, the CBI's official announcements. But what they did the other day is they released something that was necessary regarding the auctions, but they didn't release it uh, as an announcement. So we had to do some digging. Now, when um, the UST uh, Secretary Rosenberg was here a couple of weeks ago, the day after she left, okay, auctions changed. I shared that with you, I shared that with teams, auctions had changed uh, I got word I noticed I saw but I wasn't all the way positive in how auctions have uh, had changed now here's where we're at Sunday all of this have okay so there were changes when uh, Rosenberg and company came into Baghdad Immediate, right. There was immediate changes, yep. and then there were changes after the UN meetings. There has been a ton of changes, and the reason why there are a ton of changes is because things have been signed off. 
Okay. So, okay, so Sudani comes back. What was that, Friday or Saturday? Sunday, um, a lock makes an announcement, an official announcement. And uh, a, a snippet of the, uh, of, of, of the disclosure of the announcement is this, that there's going to be massive uh, important shifts in external transfer mechanism. And it says that this came after an agreement between the CBI and the U.S. Federal Bank, like the countries of the world. So what they're saying is at the end of the year, January 1, uh, auctions will be completely different. The Central Bank of Iraq's auctions will be completely different. They will run like all of the other international central banks of the world. That's, that's what will happen January 1. That's an announcement. The CBI said that. Now, why am I so focused on auctions? Here's why. When Iraq got placed on sanctions, yes, they got a program rate, but the anchor that kept them or the nail that kept them um, functional uh, to sanctions was the auctions. That is where remittances would get paid, which is not normal, but it is for a sanctioned country. That is where dollars were dispersed and given uh, in order to run the country and so what they're telling us now is the way they've always done auctions is going to be gone so for for example if we have a militia man's coffee shop <laughs> and you get your beans from brazil the old way uh, for you to pay for that import would be you would have to go to the auctions and do it through uh, submitting invoices and proof and paperwork. And it takes about two weeks in order to get all of that fulfilled and then it be paid through a remittance. Right. That is how the auctions currently work as a sanctioned uh, country. But this announcement on Sunday from Alok says we're going away from that. Now, Militia Man's Coffee Shop is going to be able to pay his own uh, import, okay? Right. On its own, through his bank, like every other normal country in the world. So here we are excited. You and I are excited. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That means they're going to be internationally acceptable. They're going to have a tradable currency. They're going to have value to their. Yes, this article says all of that, and that is going to happen January 1, January 1, but it doesn't end there. Nope. Because that is when auctions change completely and they're done and they're gone away with. However, however, the auctions have already changed. This is where another CBI disclosure, I'm not calling it an announcement because they didn't make it an announcement and they made me go do some work and make some phone calls <laughs> to find this. And uh, this was announced uh, officially, or I should say disclosed officially, that, um, let me read it to you. We okay. would like to inform you that the auction of traditional financial transfers, transfers mm -hmm. of the Central Bank of Iraq has been announced for a period of 14 days. That is when I noticed Rosenberg when she left. And the implementation will be on 9-28-2020. 2023. That's Thursday, buddy. That's Thursday. Yes, yeah, sure it is. That is, that is Thursday. Um, according to the details included in the announcement published on the central custody system, which, by the way, is part of the BIS. The BIS has this, as well as the central bank of Iraq has this. Uh, on the central custody system for financial securities, banks can start submitting from the date of the announcement until the aforementioned implementation day. By the way, for those of you guys who are listening on this YouTube, um, Militia Man has all of this information and it is up on his Discord, um, on his chat or on his site. And he can tell you that about, about that later. Mm -hmm. But I am speaking only from 
the CBI Arabic website. Now, this was Intel at one point, but now it is proven. Now it is public. They made it hard for us, but it is absolutely public. So what does all of this mean? All of this means to me, they're doing away with the auctions January 1, 2024. But as of this Thursday, Militia Man's Coffee Shop can have the ability because the implementation of how you do the auctions are completely changing as of this Thursday. And what does that mean? That means if the auctions are changing, Militia Man might be able to, Militia Man's Coffee Shop might be able to pay his own bills through his own bank account. Yep, and that's, it, contracts are supposed to be done in what? Iraqi dinar starting about that time. Yep, bring up that article. Bring, I mean, bring, I mean, bring it up. Yep, I mean, here I, it is. I mean, that was even in Bloomberg. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, they're basically sta stating that this is a phenomenal article today that, um, it's in the notes, but it says commitment that all state contracts execute, executed inside Iraq shall be in Iraqi dinars. And that's contracts, so that's at a bigger, much bigger level. So that's in print today from the uh, Prime Minister Shia al Sadani. He chaired this meeting with the Council of Ministers. So we did that. And then he also came back, as uh, Angel One has described, the Prime Minister uh, got with the coordination framework, which he's a party to, and basically said that Iraq's commitment to all international understandings and decisions to regulate the relationship with the countries of the world and the region. So he's basically stating that we've come to an agreement and made uh, with international understandings and, and decisions, that that's what they've made. So again, this is one of those articles that he mentions that's uh, in our quiver to, uh, to share with people, but you can also find it on your own. Uh, one of the other things is when he's talking about uh, that article from Al Alak, it's on the CBI, and it basically, on, it's basically <laughs> stating that <laughs> Central Bank of Iraq and U.S. Federal uh, Bank, basically it says um, they're going to be, the system is new, they have a new system, it's an external transfer, and so he's got, he's, that, it's going, yeah, it's going outside the borders. And remember one other thing too, though, is that how are these people, when they do all this, going to get their, to get their uh, money uh, when it comes right down to it, because the citizens are going to benefit from this, is uh, uh, Shia Sadani, once again, this last Sunday, has come out and basically talked about in a special meeting, the follow-up of implementation of the unified treasury account, uh, that treasury account in the electronic payment systems, that's how the people are going to get paid. This is all in the news. This is all at our fingertips. And uh, it's why we are uh, smiling and dancing. That's the way I feel. Yeah, and that treasury account, family, for, you, for those of you guys that don't know what that is, it's a country's checking account. So just like you use your checking account, country has a checking account as well. Um, Dang it, Dodgers lost. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the, Darn the, it. The, the, the country has a checking account as well. And by the way, Sudani is all over the implementation of the Treasury account. Why? It's payday, baby. It's payday. It's time to start paying some things. How are they going to pay it? In dinar and dinar only. How is Militia Man's Coffee Shop going to make his import payments? Dinars, baby. Dinar. Dinars only. Yeah. Now, now, what you mentioned today was executed by Khan. It's official. That's right. It is absolutely official. It, it, it's 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 dinars from here on out only. But family, hear me when I say this. I'm going to give you a law. For every action, there is a reaction. And the last time we were on a call together, militia men and I. I had mentioned that when Sudani goes to the UN, it is International Week. That's what he's there for. International, international, international. He got the green light last week because what we're seeing is the evidence. We are seeing the reaction to the action that took place last week. What are we talking about? We're talking about this, and this is a headline. The coordination framework confirms Iraq's commitment to all international understandings 
and resolutions that regulate the relationship with the countries of the world and the region. And what does Sudani come out today and say? He says this. Hey, everybody. I am announcing to you that we are going to have a special holiday. We are going to have our very own Independence Day. And that will be, what is that, October 4th, buddy? That's October That, that that's October 3rd, I believe it is. To October be 3rd. Yep, you're right. Sorry, my apologies. Yep. October 3rd. Now, let me tell you this. National Day of the Republic, as they called it. That is correct. Independence Day. Iraq has never, ever had an Independence Day. The citizens of Iraq, and I'm hearing this from boots on the ground, are beyond themselves. Now, listen, buddy. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. A country doesn't claim its independence hoping that one day they become independent. No. Nope. You know, they it... claim their independence when they are independent. They are no longer waiting for their independence. And I'm talking about banking reform, economic reform, military. I'm talking about geopolitical. I'm talking about on every level. They are not waiting to be independent. They are waiting for the day to celebrate their independence. Independence is upon them now. It is who they are. That Denar is about to be independent and travel the world like a free little bird. And baby, I cannot wait to celebrate. It has been too, too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a dec it's been decades for some people, that's for sure. That's for sure. That's a good thing. Yeah, when they say that they're a sovereign state, they said that a few days ago while that they were at the UN. And they, when they said that, I got my ears because right now, if you think about it, if they're going to have a national day of republic in Iraq and it's they're a sovereign country, uh, they're going to need a sovereign currency. They're not going with um, without one. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah, and now, now let me also say this: Can uh, can you bring up the next day? Do you know? Remember what's planned the next day? Uh, the, the fourth is the World Trade Organization's meeting. Woo, we got the WTO in the house the next day. Now, let's talk about a few things. Let's go there. Thursday, I'm guaranteeing you the auctions change. That's the CBI uh, announcement. So that's the 28th, right? Yep. Thursday? Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's their Thursday, but that's their banking Friday. That's correct. So that means we automatically go into offline. Okay? Right. So um, you've, you've got now... Uh, the government making some holidays. Yep. So what I'm saying is, um, you know, I, I wouldn't go crazy looking for something on Thursday, but let me tell you, it is official. Implementation day is Thursday per the CBI. Now, whether we see it Friday, Saturday, I cannot promise you that. Right. I don't Understood. know what I know. What Understood. I am telling you is what I do know. But I'll also tell you this, it is very damn close. <laughs> very, very close, very <laughs> close. Absolutely. It's just, you got too many things. Obviously, we don't know the, the specific time frame, the specific date or anything like that. But what we do have is words from the horse's mouth. And that's coming from all of them. There's a whole team of horses pulling this, pulling this wagon. And the, the wagon is Iraq. And it's, and it's, it's full of... Uh, uh, fruitful things coming to the country because you have what the development projects that are coming, the Port of Fa coming, all of those things need Iraq to be in the position that they are and they set the stage. Uh, I, I'm going to say back from November to today, they've been on steroids and it has been um, up and down for everybody. But the truth is at this stage of the game, by what you've said, what what we found from the CBI side, what Al Sudani's done, what's being done uh, behind the scenes. We have some things in the United States that are happening in the next uh, few days that they're, they, they have been publicly stating that are supposed to be happening between sometime this week in respect to Iraq that could have uh, could be happening as well. And so at this very level, when you get all the way out to the World Trade Organization, uh, whether or not they have to have a, uh, an international rate with an Article 8 compliant currency, um, Iraq's got to be Article 8 to go into WT, WTO is my understanding. Does that sound Militia, about right? Militiaman's coffee shop yeah. needs that full ascension in order to pay his bills. 
Okay. And I'll also share this. You know this, but the family may not know. Uh, we don't share everything we have. We're not at liberty to. Right. So there is information that we do have uh, that we get to share amongst the team. Some of it I'm not even able to share about uh, share with anybody. But we will always lead you and guide you the best, best, best way that we can, even with the information that we're given. So there is there more go. information we have than what we're sharing. Family, I want you to know this. By the time it's in print, it already happened. Okay. And so sometimes when we get stuff, it's not in print yet. To Militia Man's point, it happens days, sometimes weeks later. But we are cautious in how we share uh, because of that risk. Yep, that's a fact. And it's it's amazing on how often that's been the case. And because this <laughs> because of this uh, process that's evolved for the last uh decade, right? We have so many systems that are so far advanced. The technology wasn't even available yet, but now they have it set up so that it's going to be fast, furious, and interlinked globally. With the new system that they're talking about, um, it's it's going to be instantaneous payments. Everybody's starting to see it now with their own checking accounts, their own bank accounts. Militiaman's um, coffee house uh, knows that when he gets, gets a, a remittance, it happens in, in seconds now. It's not, it's not three or four days. So, and that's going to be international, global, and that's where Iraq's at right now. Hey, buddy, I'm so sorry. I know we're on this very important oh, call. No, you're good. But what I have coming in is extremely important. Family, thank you so much. I'm so Perfect. sorry to cut you guys short. Nope. I, I, I've got to take this. Thanks, buddy. Jump. Have a great day. Pleasure to yeah. have you. Thank you. Well, there you go, everybody. It was a really good call. I was glad he had enough time to be able to uh, jump in on this call with us this afternoon. And obviously, I think we gave you um, enough information to support that that uh, intel and and data that we have in the news from uh, the wonderful news sound uh, Samson and uh, the team with uh, militia man and crew in Patreon and our Discord chat room. Um, it, it's phenomenal. So we load the we load the room with news uh, throughout the night and a lot of times in the in the evenings. And then we have analysis by myself and some of the crew members. Uh, we have Gigi. She she likes to welcome everybody. Make sure everybody's got got up to date. There's some rules that people can find, but hey, it's a small amount of, to to pay is just to read a, read a few things to get along and enjoy. So well, thank you very much for your time here with us, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing an exciting weekend and and uh, what they show us uh, because they're obviously talking pretty loud. Uh, they're being very careful about it, but they're awfully they're awfully loud if you know what to look for. So have a great afternoon. And uh, Militia Man wishes you all the best. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Once again, guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this content. Subscribe to the channel or join us at the Militia Man and Crew Patreon community for even more exclusive content. You can also donate to this channel by hitting the links in the banner to help keep this page up and running. Your generous support is greatly appreciated, as always. Much, much appreciated. Thank you so much and have a great day.